What's happening troops? Welcome back to another video. So if you have seen my latest video, it was a safe standing documentary and I've had a lot of feedback from obviously the viewers of the video and it's all been positive. 95% of it has been positive. But one thing that I continued to see was the sort of praise of the union bears. So I thought that I would just put out the full and uncut version of the interview. It's an amazing interview. The guys spoke really, really well and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So here it is, audio only. And before we continue, smash the like button and share this video if you support this issue. Where does the UB stand in relation to safe standing being implemented at iBooks? Well, it's obviously uh, been one of our, we've been pushing it for years, you know, but this is kind of come to the forefront of our agenda now that we need out a BF1 and uh, we need to go, well, we see a better move going to the Copeland or, or anywhere else, anywhere else out of the Broomland. Um, but the whole support needs it to be honest. Like, yeah, you look definitely. at the match the atmosphere at Ibrox and it's it's flat as it's ever been. Um, even big games it's, it's flat. Um, we need something like this to sort of rejuvenate the support and, um, and find their identity if you want again and, and, and push it. You see, you see the atmosphere at away games, uh, everybody's standing up, everybody's singing, the appetite for it is there, you know, everybody's standing anyway, uh, and it doesn't need to be just at away matches that that sort of atmosphere is created, it can be at Ibrooks, in fact it should be at Ibrooks, because that's where, the, you know, it's a, it's a home, it's a we stadium. We want to create, a, we create a, an arena if you want, that's it's, um, daunting for teams to come and, and, and come up against us. Yeah, you know, definitely. Beat up from the Ibrooks. Yeah. You look at the big teams across Europe and stuff like that, it's like, you see all these big displays and atmospheres and stuff like that and as a player you must be daunting to go out and play in that, let's be honest. Um, we want to sort of create, create that hostile atmosphere that the teams don't want to come and play football against us and sit back and just be the, the, the 12th man, is yep. what the support should be. Probably, I would say it's probably one of our, as a group, it's probably one of our top priorities because that's what we're here for, to improve the atmosphere and yep. get back the team in it. I can't really do that for the position we're in and Ibrox has been like a library for too long. It's, it's, it's shown to work elsewhere um, and improving the match, the atmosphere is obviously the main priority of the group. That's mm -hmm. so I think obviously it's, it's come up now that supporters clubs and stuff like that have got behind it. Uh, obviously we've been pushing at it for years but all of a sudden this online campaign and it started rolling and Club 1872 have, have came to us and wanting meetings and try to push the club into making a decision. The club are away uh, doing feasibility um, research. So it's great. I mean, the online campaign has really helped across social medias. Um, the, 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 the best thing that we did, I think, was collect the, the range of supporters clubs that were interested in backing it. Because it isn't just for us. It's, it's not just the Union Bears that want a uh, safe standard at Ibrox. I think there's, there's a lot of people out there that are part of other supporters clubs and groups that, that weren't involved. Uh, and that was the best way we thought of collating the, the fans, fan groups together and saying to the club, listen, these are how many people want, or how many groups want safe standing. Um, and that's kind of, we've kicked on for there and it's, it's, it's the, been a snowball effect the really. The demand for it is there and mm. everybody should have the option to stand. Yeah. But it's, it happens at every other sporting event in, in the country, like the stand at rugby games. Like, Wouldn't it be safer mm. if it was safe standing, obviously? Because yeah. obviously well, that's the guys thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's in this wee narrow space. Yeah. Do you think it'd be safer it is. for the fans? Uh, 100% is. I mean, you're, you're, you're standing anyway, so Aye. why not make it safer? Um, I've had enough of bruised shins and that from standing behind More seats. Yeah, exactly. Seats so, getting broken. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. It's safe standing, you've got a bar in front of you and a bar behind you, a, a real bar. You, you can't right. really go anywhere, but you to be honest. Right. Right. Right now, more or less every, every stadium in Britain has got a section that stands. Whether there's safe standing or not, they'll be standing in a place where you're meant to sit. Mm -hmm. So if you take that seat away and give them some, a position to stand, everybody having their own place, it's going to be safer than people standing with seats. Coming down half standing, mm -hmm. half sitting. Stuff like that. I think it's, it's a safer environment. I definitely think that's a big thing for people. People don't really understand. It's a, it's a European sort of thing, the safe standing section. and. Okay, Celtic have tried it and, and they've been the first and it seems to be going well for them. But and I think a lot of people still don't really they don't understand what the safe standards are about. They don't know is it safe? But you know, they they've not seen it firsthand. I mean the guys in our group, we go to Europe a lot to see different teams and you see the atmospheres and you see the things getting created and you think Rangers 
Rangers Football Club are one of the biggest football clubs in the world. Well, to me, they're the biggest. Why have we not got an atmosphere like that? Why, why are all these teams, you know, small teams in Germany in League 3 creating a bigger atmosphere at home than we are at Ibrox with 50,000 people there every week? It, it, it's just it's baffling. And I think the time has come to, to, as you say, rejuvenate the support and say, we want this safe standing, we want it put in and we're going we're gonna to do something about it because it's been a, like a morgue for too long. How long do you think the process would go? And in terms of planning it, how many seats would you be looking to have? Who would sit in these seats? Mm -hmm. That sort of thing? I think the next step is taking uh, details of people interested. Uh, that's definitely the next step for us. Because it's all right, supporters club saying, but how many guys off the buses are going to, you know? And, and again, some people are saying, I support this idea, but I'm not necessarily going to sit there. You know, maybe I'm too old for that, or I, I'd I, like, I'd I don't like, like standing it. at games. I'd like, I, see, uh, I'd like to see the atmosphere of the tunnel and stuff like that, but I don't want to physically stand yeah. I, I'd rather yeah. sit in my seat up in the main stand or whatever. I've got a, everybody's got their own sort of personal agenda and stuff like that, but the majority of the supporters I've spoken to are for it. It's just an if when and well, the, the, the problem is also that we've got so many season ticket holders and that, that's why there's kind of, I don't know if the club, the club haven't put a block to it, but they've kind of, it's fallen on deaf ears, everything we've given to them so far over the, over the past few years, because there is so many season ticket holders and, and there wasn't a, a kind of public campaign for it, so, you know, they're, they're selling out their stadium every week, why, why, should, they, why should they spend money on, on, on creating a section for it? But... At the end of the day, it's about the, it's about the fan experience. If you're coming to the football, you're paying all your money. You want to enjoy yourself. And I think there's a lot of people at Ibrox just now that just aren't enjoying themselves. You know, they, they think there's more to it, but what can they do about it? And I think this is this is a way of pushing it. It's that missing thing, isn't it? It's, it's missing match the experience. Like, mm. A lot of people go to Ibrox now because it's a habit. Mm. It's a habit to go to that sort of nice. for some people. Whereas if, if you had an atmosphere that rivaled some of your German and other sides like that then it would encourage people Is to come back. Is that what you have looked at then, the German and the Bundesliga? Uh, I mean, obviously all, a lot of them well, get safe standing. Yeah, mostly, mostly, I think just about all stadiums in Germany Aye. have safe standing sections. Um, obviously we go to Hamburg quite a lot, uh, members of the group go and, and I have been a few times and I just think it's brilliant, you know, the, the behind the goal it's packed full, the flag's going, it's colourful, it's noisy. They get right behind the team no matter what the, the score is, you know, and that's what, that's what we deserve. That's what the Rangers players deserve. That, they deserve a support like that. And at the moment, we're, it's just not there. Yeah. The future generations of Rangers fans deserve the same chance that we had to go, well, maybe myself, like to go and stand in the enclosure, or people that stood behind the goals in the Copeland. That is, that is coming up as a Rangers fan. You went to the area where the noisy support was, you stood where the noisy support and you backed the team. That's, that's part of it, they deserve the same chance as us, they shouldn't have to just go in, sit down, get a hot dog, a juice, and go home at the end of the game. Should, that shouldn't be the match day experience for our younger fans coming up. The Colt the was still called the Rangers end, and for me it's, it's called the Rangers end because it is the Rangers end. That, that, that's where your, your hardcore supporters sort of went. Congregated. The guys went week in, week out, they stand in the same place. Even to this day, supporters clubs have got their flags in the same position, pretty much the same as us in BF1. It's just what. Like, it's a bit of like identity that like, the supporters is missing and mm. there's some like that we need to Where sort of restore. Where do you think the line that lost? Uh, just football in general has lost its way, you know. Everybody talks about the Premier League greed, but I think it's greed in football in general. You know, it's not just England. Um, it's just become a kind of... It's the supports grew older maybe? Right, yeah, I think it personally it happened in the 90s with the, yeah. the rise of the Premier League and stuff like that. the heart out of mm -hmm. Scottish football a wee bit. Um, obviously the Rangers have had their problems, but I think in the 90s... Was Every better. team done Dina, you know, just right, spending really money they didn't yeah. have. You know? I remember, like, people, are, right. people are sort of scared to go and create an atmosphere now in case right. their doors can kick in. Football banning all the stuff like that obviously had an effect there. Um, I got Thatcher obviously shut down on football fans late 80s, early 90s mm -hmm. and it's, it's snowballed for there but it's, it's no longer people go to their pals, go to the pub, have a pint, go and stand together at the football now they go, they have a pint and they go spread into four different stands Aye, and leave where their season in. books are. Aye. You know what I mean? Well, the people that have got a season ticket in Portland and maybe if you get put safe standing into there. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Obviously, we, we, we've, we've thought about that. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be... People are... It, say, say they did put a safe standing in. Uh, people are going to be disappointed about having to move seats because they've got to put them somewhere. But it's up to the club 
going, going forward, we need to have a discussion with the club. This club need to have a discussion with the support in general, the season ticket holders, and say, how can we make this, you know, how can we come to an agreement where everybody's kept as happy as possible, where, where, where guys that want to sing and create an atmosphere are happy where they are, and guys that have sat there for years, you know, can we get them a better seat? Can we? So, obviously, that can't be discussed just now because we're at the early stages. And we don't know, you said earlier on about how many numbers can we get together in the same standing. Again, there might be only 500 people interested. I'm, I definitely don't think there is. I think there's maybe five times as many, right? But, you know, we can't have 5,000 safe standing eyebrows. I'm just being realistic there. It's going to be maybe 2,000, one, one and a half, 2,000. That, that's, that's I, you start. know, it's not going to be loads. Be start, like, we will have a, a Celtic at a trial period of the year. Um, which proved to be a success. I take it Rangers will be the exact same, just for a pure, purely safety stance. Like the, 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 the authorities and stuff will be wanting to view it and it will be heavily scrutinised, but that's where it's come down to the sort of fans to a bit of ownership and, and make it work. And, uh, I think a lot, a lot, a lot of any problems yeah. that, that, that occur. But the problems, that, the problems that people see, a lot of Rangers fans say the Green Brigade or the Celtic, that, that's really bad. But you need to remember that trial period was about the safety of fans, not about the behaviour. Yeah. You know, that, that's nothing to do with... Yeah. The, the, the trial period is simply for the safety. Is it safe for fans to stand in? And I think uh, there's Proof. been no... There's, there's been no major reports. It's, as I said, it has been the behaviour of the, uh, the group that occupy that area. Um, rather than the safety. Rather than the actual safety of the section the model or, or the model. Yeah. Um, it's just been you know, that that's what it comes down to managing between stuff like that. Um, but to go back to the point of like, the supporters who are sitting, say the court one without the safe standing would be. Um, hopefully within the next few years uh, there will be stuff attached to your season ticket form which will Give you the option, like, do you want to stand in the safe standing section, basically? Yeah, um, I think that's a good idea. That's what we are going to say to the club, anyway. Um, ample notice that the, the, the club are sort of going down this route. If you want to, if you don't want to be a part of that, then give you two or three years to either relocate or like, accept it, if you want. Um, but the gal on the names are like, in season ticket numbers, or um, people who sit in different sections of the stadium. It's, makes it a bit easier for, for example if 200 people don't want to sit and stay standing there's like 50 seats in the, the governing rear and there's 50 in the, the governing front there's like 100 people that can relocate to the areas mm-hmm. it's really just as simple as that but I'll tell I, you it's down I think top. overall demand will dictate where, it, where it's situated if, if 500 people sign up to a website saying they would be interested in safe standing you're going to get a small corner eyebrow so if 10,000 people sign up, the club will need to look at it and find an area, maybe not that would accommodate 10,000, but would accommodate a far greater number than, say, the Govan West Corner or something like that. Really, think, demand will dictate, because yeah. obviously the club's a business as well. Right? Speaking easy. realistically, I think I can see it in maybe two to three years' time. It's not going to be a, an overnight process, but I see it realistically. I think it will be, if anywhere, the Govan East Corner, which is the side opposite the away end. Um, which would be great for us because it's in the middle of the Governor and the Copeland, so you're in the middle of the support, hopefully leading, well, creating, leading them, creating an atmosphere, uh, and we can get it going both sides because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. That's that's what we're trying to achieve a, a better atmosphere. Uh, I think I, I think that's the most realistic option at the moment. Um, but as I say, the club are doing feasibility searches for different areas of the ground, and they've still come back with us to, to us, sorry, with uh, the costings. So until that's done, until they can work out how much is going to be to implement, and we, can, we can't really go further, like any further with the club. We have been working hard with Club 1872 over mm-hmm. since, since we did release the statement, basically, uh, and beyond. Um, we have been working hard, and both parties seem um, more than accommodating. For the, the instalment of safe standing. Yeah, we've had, yeah. we've had a number of meetings with Club 1872. They've all been very positive. Both sides are are keen to work together to because Club 1872 seem very keen as well also to get the, the project moving. Uh, and they, they'll work with us um, with dealing with the club because obviously they're going to have a better knowledge um, with things like that. It's not just boys. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole range of people. There's females and stuff like that. I know a, a handful of close female friends that say, I'd be up for it. I'm not, not necessarily want to sit in um, 
in with us, but if the option was to stand, then I would, I would, I would take it. And mm-hmm. What about security stuff like that? Um, because obviously I know some people try and buy a ticket in the room in front and try and sneak it away yeah. at one. Well, what would happen would be... is, at Celtic, what happens is that whole area is, um, not the whole area, but the area is occupied by season ticket holders, get different coloured cards from the rest. So, say, we get a, say, standing one, get a red, white, and blue one, and the rest of the support have got a blue one. So, that's how you identify if you should be in that area or not. Um, there's stewards at the top of the sections and stuff like that. It, Stopping it, anybody, stop cutting anybody coming in. But alternatively, it's really just the, 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 the colour of your card. Speaking um, to the head of security at Ibrooks, what he seemed to be keen on when we were talking about different areas that it could possibly be in, he was saying that it would need its own turnstiles and stuff like that. That's what's making me think that if anywhere, I think it will probably be the, the Governor's Corner. Governor's yeah, Corner. Govern East Corner. Because obviously that's got its own turnstiles into it, same as the away end, it's into the corner. They can differentiate between that's a coat owned, that's a govern, and this is the corner. You know, it's, it's a, a, tur- a turnstile, and it's not going to get confused with well. it's just for the it's just for the safe standing season ticket holders basically. And as as Scott says, you've got your you've got your different colour, maybe a red season ticket, or even you know, you obviously your smart card folder if there's a different colour card in there to say safe standing. Safe standing section. Yeah, safe standing member or whatever. Uh, what will say. On it. Um, the fact that people are even worried about people coming in that shouldn't they, it shows you the demand itself for it, that it would be oversubscribed, that people would um, would be more likely to want to go in there, even if they had a ticket or not, they would still, um, obviously that would be then down to the club to ensure that doesn't happen, like the day with BF1 right now, it's the most stewarded and police part of Ibrox, you yep. know what I mean, so I don't think they'd have to put any more resources into a safe standing section, because they already put their resources into BF1 as it is. Um, yeah, I think, I think it also... Sorry, they over so who, who would have the final say, right? Let's say Rangers agreed that they wanted to do it and they come up with a plan or not. Who would have the final say that it could be implemented? Yeah. Yeah. Aye. Aye, it would have to go to a council. I think that's how so the council, council the basically have the they t- they say to the, was it a safety mm-hmm. certificate. Uh, but t- to be Celtic get knocked back two or three times for, for theirs, but now that theirs is there. To be brutally honest, I can't see them knocking us back when they yeah. get across the road. I think obviously to get the first one there was a was a hard task. Now that the first one's there, we can build off their model. I, just, I would, I would think the final say will rest with the club because when they they own this place, it's. Mm-hmm. These, these are their in control of the decisions and if the council are allowing one scheme, as long as your safety requirements match up to that other scheme, mm-hmm. would, in a city like Glasgow you can't really let one do something without the other, so I think the final sale come down to the club whether they want it or, or not. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't imagine the authorities would stand in the way of one side of Glasgow and yeah. they're letting another one. Yes. So totally. I like UEFA and stuff like that as well, when we do play in Europe. <coughs> um, the seats have to be put down for, yeah. for European the games. Real seats, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. We, will, we will go back to a sort of seated area. Just like a wee key, put the key in, turn it, it folds out. All from Europe and stuff like that. There will be no Champions League game that has safe standing. There will be people standing in the areas. Like it's, nah. It just goes back to that sort of seated area. Um, but, but people are standing. People are standing. Alright, well, if you submit any of the ads, go for it. Other than that, I'm happy with that. What's your views on it? What's your views? Right? Okay, there we have it. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. I'm out.